In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuOH2 decomposing. This is copper 2 hydroxide. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is already balanced, so that's kind of nice. The next thing we need to do is write the states. So if you know your solubility rules, in general, hydroxides, this OH, when it's bonded to a metal, this is a hydroxide, they're insoluble. So let's just check on a solubility table here and we find copper right here, and here's our hydroxide. We go over, and it is insoluble. So that matches up with what we know about the solubility rules. Since it's insoluble, it won't dissolve. It's gonna be a solid. So we're gonna put a little S up here. And then while we're here, copper to oxide. Here's copper again, and here's an oxide. We put that in water. That's also going to be insoluble. So that's gonna be a solid as well and then water, that's a liquid. So we have our states here. Now we can split the strong electrolytes up into their ions, and this will give us the complete ionic equation. The thing is, we don't split solids, liquids, or gases apart when we write net ionic equations. So we're not gonna split anything up here. That means that this right here is both the complete ionic equation and the net ionic equation for CuOH2 decomposing. So we really can't split anything up. There's not really a net ionic equation in the sense that there aren't any ions formed when this takes place. Do note maybe a little tiny bit of copper 2 hydroxide would dissolve, but in general it's so little that with net ionic equations we just say this is all solid. So that's it. This is the net ionic equation or just the molecular equation for copper 2 hydroxide decomposing into copper 2 oxide and water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.